All right, so I finally got the automatic door latch working on this trailblazer. So I just wanted to check back in on the follow up. Um, so obviously we should, should have replaced the actuator, but this vehicle, that wasn't the problem. Um, so I just literally threw a part at it because it was $20. Uh, then I had to do some actual diagnosing. So the first thing you want to do is you want to pull this boot apart right here. Um, pull it off and check the wires through this harness to make sure none of them are broken. Um, you can, I unplugged down here and was checking for uh, 12 volts and ground and I had everything I needed. Um, but what it, it ended up being this module. So it takes two 10 mils to pop off and you just unplug these three plugs. I got this one at our local junkyard. It was already remanufactured because this is a common problem. Um, the telltale sign on this one was I had a good, good uh, 12 volt supply, good ground. Um, and every other function this module controls worked. So the windshield wiper worked, the rear defroster worked. Um, so it was literally just the, the lock unlock that wasn't working. So I ended up swapping the module, everything works perfectly now. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap it back together. All right, gonna try to make this a quick video today. We got this Minty 2002 Chevy Trailblazer here. This should be the same for GMC Envoys as well. Uh, I think it's like 2000 to 2007, but I'll fact check that and put it in the title. Um, what we got going on here is the rear hatch does not lock or unlock, so we need to swap out the lock actuator. I'll show you all how to do that. I've already kind of started, but it's real simple to get to this point. Um, so this is the lock actuator. It's held on by three uh, 30 T30 Torxes, um, and it goes in this backside here. So I uh, called the old O'Reilly's, and they wanted uh, like $250 or something for this door lock actuator. Amazon has it for 26 bucks. I'll have a link in the description for that and for trim removal tools if you need those. So first step, you'll see I have this pile of plastic over here that I've already taken off. There's a upper trim piece here, which is this piece. So this, this piece here is just clicked in like that. So you use a trim stick, one of these puppies, you get under here and you just pop it loose and you pop it all the way free. The lower panel is the same deal except for underneath this pull strap here is one uh, T30 Torx. So you got to take that out. It's located over here. You take that T30 out, same deal. Take the trim stick, start popping around the edges. It'll pop free. So that handles that. So now we're open in here. Um, I'll, I'm going to have to cut this a little bit weird. So there's actually a hole. You see that little access hole right there if you're if your hatch gets stuck in the lock position you can pop out that little plastic circle and fish a screwdriver in here and you want to go to this arm here and you want one of these arms so that's the opening arm is this one so this is the lock unlock arm so you just use a screwdriver to fish around in here. I ended up actually catching this lip right here and just manually opening the latch and pushing it open is how I did it. So I, I went through the hole, grabbed right here, pulled that, opened the latch, wham, bam, dunzo. Let's see what we got. Let's make sure it looks the same. Looks the exact same to me. Perfect. All right, so we got a couple little rods we gotta take out. Um, some torques that need to be removed on this backside that look a little smaller. So I want to get to it and then we'll figure it out. All right, first things first, we're going to unplug both of these plugs. So there's one, there's two. Wiring harness is disconnected. So now I want to get all of these actuator rods off that I can. So these little red clips here, let me get a flathead. So you just kind of pry it up plastic part ah, there we go so you pop that up that will allow the rod to come out just like that so that will ride with I need to get this upper one up here off and then I need to get this one off so we'll do this one first there we go that one comes out like that. Now we just have this top one. Let me see if I can reach it with my hand. Yeah, I just reached it with my hand and did it. Wham, bam, done. 
So now it should be completely loose and free. So let's unbolt it and see what happens. Ugh. Screw one. Screw two. Screw three. I dropped the screw. That's not good. We'll find it though. All right. So now we got this one out. Now we got to move this entire contraption over to this one. It's a T20. All right. So we swapped over that piece. Now I just need to get these uh, rods out to put into these pieces here. So we'll do them one at a time. You just pull them out. It doesn't matter if you break the little plastic retainers because we have new ones on the new one. So make sure you get them in the, the same orientation. So that one goes down like that. All right, so as simple as it came out, it goes right back in. You just stick it in the hole, reach your hand on the back side to make sure you get these holes lined up and start the screws. So I'm gonna tighten these down and then we'll get the rod switch back up and see if it works. All right, easy peasy lemon squeezy. We got all the rods hooked back up. All three of them. It went right in. So let's plug these plugs back in. Oh, look at that. I saw motion already. All right, let me go grab the uh, key fob out from the inside. What do you think? Huh. I got nothing. Let's go see if I hit this button. Because it actuated immediately and locked. God dang it. That didn't seem to work at all. So let's go pop it back up manually. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then we'll see what's going on here.